Cloning has the potential to help the world by curing diseases and advancing agriculture around the world, but it also presents several ethically challenging questions. In this documentary, we will be focusing on reproductive cloning. Reproductive cloning is the most controversial form of cloning, since it has the potential to create exact copies of human beings. Mankind has been able to clone small animals for 50 years. When scientists successfully cloned the first adult animal, Dolly the Sheep, they thought that human cloning may be possible along with other animals. To this date, no evidence has been presented as proof uh, that human has been cloned. A company named CloneAid, which was founded by a religious group, Aurelian, claimed that they had a human cloned baby in 2003 and never presented any factual evidence. Cloning is very common in nature. Plants can naturally clone, and identical twins and triplets are clones. Identical twins and triplets might not end up looking exactly identical, since their development will be affected by their environment, and some developments affected by genes are completely random and will be different between the clones. When an organism is cloned, it is being reproduced artificially. Normally an embryo is created when the chromosome from a sperm cell and a chromosome from an egg join and the cell begins to multiply. When an organism is cloned, the single chromosome from the egg is removed and replaced with a nucleus from a somatic cell, which already has two chromosomes. A somatic cell is any cell that has two chromosomes. All cells besides reproductive cells have two chromosomes. There are many things that can easily go wrong when cloning is attempted. Sometimes an egg that has had its chromosome removed will not accept the transfer nucleus, or the egg will not develop properly. Even after the nucleus has been transferred, there are a multitude of things that can go wrong. It is common for clones to suffer from large organ syndrome, which causes problems with breathing and blood flow. Even if a clone doesn't have large organ syndrome, it is still likely that it will suffer from other abnormalities like kidney and brain malformations, as well as impaired immune systems. This is thought to be caused due to the fact that transfer nuclei do not behave like early stage embryonic cells. In a naturally created embryo, the DNA is programmed to express a certain set of genes, and as the cells begin to differentiate into other types like skin, blood, bone, or nerve cells, the program is changed. The nucleus must be manually reprogrammed completely in order for normal development, and if this is not done correctly, the embryo will either fail or develop abnormally. Cloning is not limited to full organisms. It is possible to clone organs for transplants. This is a lot better than using organ donors, because with organ donors, you must either harvest the organs from a person who has died recently, or remove them from someone who is still alive. Removing organs from someone who is still living is very risky, and organs do not survive long outside of the body. Also, one of the main reasons organ transplants fail is that the human body sees the new organ as a threat attacking the body, and it rejects it. Thanks to cloning, we will be able to grow organs in a support frame to be used for transplant. Since the new organ will be an exact copy of the previous one, the body will not see it as a threat. To find more about cloning, you need to talk to a geneticist. What do you want? I'm going to Okay, so um, please introduce yourself and what you do for a living. My name is Lamora Brown-Swiner. I am a faculty member at UCSF in the, in the Department of Black Medicine. I work in a breast cancer research group, um, so uh, we're involved in the various aspects of clinical and translational and basic research towards breast cancer. Cool. All right, so um, how long do you think it'll be for humans to be safely cloned? Safely cloned? Um, I would think it was yes. probably decades away at this point, um, although we have we're able to clone certain animals. There's still a lot of uh, controversy um, and technical issues in terms of cloning um, and the safety of cloning, um, legal science, the ethical science of it. Um, but there's a lot of concern that if you manage to clone a human genome, um, there's many parts of genetics that are not simply the genes. Um, and you may lose some of that in the process, and that may affect the outcome. So you could end up with deformities or issues in terms of the development of the whole natural diseases or something. Could, there certainly could be certain diseases that you were more prone to. Um, so one of the things that we know about the genome is that there's a thing, a thing called epigenetics that regulates expression of different proteins. Um, and if 
the epigenetics are changed, it can change that regulation. So that could lead to the development of things such as cancer um, or other diseases that are dependent on very controlled expression. Could also weaken the immune system. Certainly, yes. Yeah.